Hello and welcome to my channel. After a long time, I am doing another DIY craft supply video and it's very interesting because it is foiling ink. So we all love foiling and it has been very popular over the years and I would love to share this uh, very easy um, DIY with you. Here, uh, as you are all aware that we all use laser printers for doing all the inking or all the foiling with laminator or any heat uh, source like iron or anything. So here I am going to be using the similar laser ink powder mixed with gel medium to create an ink which you can use to draw your own designs and foil them. So here and it's this the link of where I bought this from is where available in the description below and it's super easy to make. So this is my gloss gel medium. You can use any gel medium. So and there is no real proportion that I mixed it in. I just added the two together and got a, the correct consistency where I will get a good, good layer of ink. So this is a sample that I made earlier. And I will show you on the same sample. I am going to show you some more foiling. And it's super easy to do. I just want to, so this gives you the freedom to do any designs if you are into brush lettering. This is a super easy way to get your uh, letters foiled. You can draw your own designs and then in, with this ink and uh, then run it through the laminator to create your own posters and cards and everything else. So I am just using the ink with a thin brush and uh, let it dry for a bit you just and the consistency here is not very thin I would like to keep it just enough so that it dries quickly so there is no real proportion as I said and you can the bottle that I just showed you of powder I don't think you will require any more than that and it's not very expensive either so little bit of this and you can do all your foiling you can make your own designs as well as if you have other designs that you have printed out you can just run the ink over that like I will be showing you further you can just go ahead and run this design and you will find that everything is going to get foiled super easily I am using a laminator here if you do not have a laminator there is no worry you can always always use uh, keep it between two sheets of paper and use an iron over it and it will still transfer beautifully I have done that before and it does work so you don't really need to have a laminator for this particular technique to use foiling so for all of those friends of mine who have been wanting to do foiling but do not want to invest in a laminator or a laser printer or is not they don't find it easy to find a laser printer or laser prints every time they want to do a design you can use this and enjoy foiling your cards and posters and everything else I'm sorry oh. so here I have a as I just spoke this is a design that I have here and uh, it is a print printout I'm just taking this gingerbread man and going to go ahead and add this ink so you can follow this kind of a technique also to do this foiling technique there you have it the design of the gingerbread bread man everywhere that the foil was there you can see it is transferred beautifully and it's real smooth so you can use this technique for foiling now before I go ahead and uh, discuss further I would like to put some pointers out there for people who are asthmatic or are allergic to dust this might not be a very great idea because uh, this powder is very very fine powder and it can stay in the um, air for some time so every time 
where you want to use foiling it is better to just dilute it and uh, be careful basically be careful about your health uh, if you're allergic to dust fine dust this might react to you so just be careful before you use it otherwise I don't think there's a problem uh, all I've done here is I've taken a small made a small hole on the top of the bottle too so that it the not much of the powder comes out at a time and you keep it closed and as soon as it gets added to the gel medium of course it will not stay out up in the air so and I've, you can store it in an airtight container so you here you see I've made all these designs and you can use this foiling technique for your future projects I hope you had fun and enjoyed this video if you did do not forget to subscribe to my channel and leave a th uh, like on this video as well as share it with all your friends who want to do try foiling um, I hope this video was helpful and uh, you would if there are any doubts please do not forget to leave, leave your comments on in the descriptions or uh, in the comments below I would definitely reply to all your doubts if you have any and until next time happy crafting have a wonderful day bye bye